frustration, follow me, on earth leads to greater anticipation of heaven. It says that the world has been subjected to futility in hope that we would negate the decay and be the children of God. That the frustrations that we go through, and there's a lot of frustrations, that those frustrations would be a gift that would give us greater anticipation to being in the gift of heaven. Now, my grandmother, I remember talking to her uh, before she passed away and I was talking with her and she was talking about how she was ready for heaven. And I was in my young 20s and I was like, ready for heaven? I mean, no way. I haven't been married yet. Dear Jesus, don't come back yet, please. No heaven yet. There's so many things I want to do. When you're young, you're like, I don't, I don't, the worst thing that could happen would be Jesus to return or me to go to heaven, right? I want to do some other stuff, which is a bad perspective. And that's a sermon for another day. But she's like, I'm ready for heaven. And I said, you're ready for heaven? And she said, yes, I've got more friends in heaven than I do on earth. Death, grief, the frustration of the world of always having ants at the picnic. She wanted to be in heaven where cancer is over, where death is gone, where trials and tribulations have ceased, where the chaos of the world is over and God is there and she's connected with him, seeing him face to face. How incredible is that? The frustration leads to the anticipation. And when you get really excited about heaven, it's when you realize that earth doesn't really hold much. Heaven holds it all. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.